at what would happen if Einstein and Newton, two of the greatest minds in history, were to challenge each other's theories? Imagine a clash of titans where the building blocks of our understanding of the universe are put to the test. What would it look like if the laws of motion met the theory of relativity head on? These two revolutionized our world, creating the foundation for modern physics. So buckle up as we dive into the revolutionary world of Newton and Einstein. Begin the journey with Sir Isaac Newton, the man who saw the world as a giant clockwork. Picture a universe where everything ticks along like a finely tuned timepiece, where every action has an equal and opposite reaction. That's Newton's universe. Now, let's dive into Newton's laws of motion. First, we have the law of inertia, which states that an object at rest tends to stay at rest. And an object in motion tends to stay in motion unless acted upon by an external force. Then comes the law of acceleration, stating that the force acting on an object is equal to the mass of that object times its acceleration. And finally, the law of action, reaction, which tells us that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. These laws, as simple as they may seem, were revolutionary. They gave us the ability to predict the movement of objects from the smallest grain of sand to the largest planet with incredible precision. Moving to Newton's law of universal gravitation, he proposed that every particle of matter in the universe attracts every other particle with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. So the apple falling from the tree and the moon orbiting the Earth are essentially governed by the same principle. Newton also believed in absolute space and time, that space is a three-dimensional geometric grid, static and unchangeable, and time is an equally constant, unending river flowing at the same rate for everyone, everywhere. This vision of the universe as a predictable mechanistic system was the bedrock of scientific thought for centuries. It was a universe of certainties, a clockwork universe where the gears of space and time clicked together in perfect harmony. Newton's theories stood unchallenged for centuries until a certain patent clerk came along, but more on that later. For now, let's marvel at the elegance and simplicity of Newton's universe. Enter Albert Einstein, the genius who dared to imagine a different universe. A universe that wasn't just a stage where objects moved, but a dynamic entity where space and time were not separate, but intimately linked. Einstein's universe was not the clockwork, predictable cosmos of Newton, but a far more complex and intriguing place. Let's dive a bit deeper. In the early part of the 20th century, Einstein came up with two theories that would revolutionize our understanding of the physical world, the theory of special relativity and the theory of general relativity. Special relativity proposed in 1905 challenged the Newtonian idea that time and space were absolute. Instead, Einstein argued that time could slow down and space could contract depending on how fast you were moving relative to something else. This was mind-blowing stuff. It meant that time and space were intertwined in a four-dimensional fabric called space-time, but Einstein didn't stop there. A decade later, he introduced the theory of general relativity, which added gravity into the mix. According to Einstein, gravity was not a force that objects exerted on each other, as Newton had proposed. Instead, it was a warping of space-time caused by mass and energy. This meant that a planet like Earth didn't simply pull an object towards it, but curved the space-time around it, causing the object to move along that curve. What Einstein had done was nothing short of revolutionary. He had taken Newton's universe, a place of absolute space and unchanging time, and turned it into a dynamic, ever-changing cosmos. A cosmos where space contracted, time slowed down, and gravity was a bending of the very fabric of reality. Einstein's theories not only challenged Newton's, but also changed our perception of the universe. His universe was not a static stage, but a dynamic entity, a place where space and time danced together, shaped by mass and energy. It was, and still is, a fascinating and mind-bending concept that continues to inspire and intrigue us. Imagine a grand debate between Newton and Einstein. What might it look like? It would be a clash of intellectual titans, a meeting of minds that shaped our understanding of the universe. But remember, this isn't a battle over who is right or wrong. It's about two different ways of perceiving the cosmos, each with its own merits and limitations. 
Let's consider the main points of divergence between these two giants of science. Newton's laws of motion and gravity, the cornerstones of classical physics, work perfectly for everyday phenomena. They can predict the trajectory of a thrown baseball, the orbit of the moon, even the tides of the ocean. Newton's universe is a clockwork universe, predictable and orderly. But when we venture into the realm of the extreme, the very large, the very small, or the very fast, Newton's laws falter. They can't explain the bending of light around massive objects, the strange effects of high-speed travel, or the odd behavior of particles on a quantum scale. This is where Einstein enters the fray with his theories of relativity. Special relativity, with its famous equation E mc squared, revolutionized our understanding of energy and matter. It tells us that time and space aren't absolute, but relative to the observer. Then there's general relativity, which reimagines gravity not as a force, but as the curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. In Einstein's universe, light always travels at the same speed, no matter the observer's motion, this leads to mind-bending concepts like time dilation and length contraction. And unlike Newton's laws, Einstein's theories hold true even in the face of the extreme. They've been confirmed by numerous experiments from the bending of starlight during a solar eclipse to the tiny shifts in Mercury's orbit to the recent detection of gravitational waves. Yet it's crucial to understand that Einstein didn't discard Newton. Rather, he encompassed Newton. Newton's laws are still valid within their domain of applicability. They're just a special case within Einstein's broader framework. You see, Newton's laws are like a local map, detailed and accurate for a specific area. Einstein's theories are like a world map, less detailed but encompassing a far larger scale. Both are useful, depending on what you need to know and where you are. So, in our imaginary debate, Newton and Einstein wouldn't be opponents. They'd be collaborators in the grand project of understanding the universe. They'd recognize that their theories are part of a continuum, each building upon the discoveries of the past, each paving the way for future discoveries. The debate isn't about who is right or wrong, but about how each theory provides a different lens to view the universe. So, who wins in the clash of these titans of science? In the grand theater of scientific discovery, both Newton and Einstein have played leading roles. Newton, with his laws of motion and universal gravitation, laid the foundation for classical physics, painting a picture of the universe as a giant clockwork mechanism. Einstein, on the other hand, with his theory of relativity, revolutionized our understanding of space and time, introducing a universe that was no longer static and immutable, but dynamic and ever-changing. But to pit one against the other, to ask who wins, is to misunderstand the nature of science itself. Science is not a competition, but a relay race, with each generation of scientists building upon the work of those who came before. Newton's theories were not discarded by Einstein's breakthroughs, but were rather expanded upon, their limitations recognized and their applications refined. In fact, it's the interplay of these theories, the dialogue between them, that has allowed us to make sense of the wonders of the universe. From the tiniest particles to the vast expanses of the cosmos. And it's this continual evolution of ideas. This willingness to question and refine our understanding.